Hi, I'm Betsy Scrobot from Sweet Dolce, and today we are going to be working on croissants. We've started a batch of croissants, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to learn about how to make the first turn in croissant dough. We have a couple supplies laid out that you need to see. First is we have some flour. Flour is really important because it helps our croissant dough, or it keeps our croissant dough from sticking on the table. Second, we have our rolling pin. I like a nice, big, heavy rolling pin because then I don't have to work so hard to get my dough to be nice and consistent and flat. Next that we need is a big brush. Our brush when we're making croissant dough is very, very important because what we do is we brush off all that extra flour that we have on the dough. The goal when we're building our croissant is that it remains nice and tender. So we want to get rid of all the excess flour that's on there. Over here, we have our two big parts. First is our butter. And you can see I have my butter laid on a piece of cellophane. When I'm making this, which is actually called a barrage, I put it between two pieces of cellophane and pound it out with a rolling pin. And that allows me to get it nice and square. The second thing that we have is our dough. And our croissant base dough is called a detrep. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we have to take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle it on our detrep. And then we're gonna add the rest to our work surface. We'll bring our detrempe over here, and then we're gonna look at the barrage size and see how big it is. The goal is that we have our detrempe be two thirds, or I'm sorry, have our barrage be two thirds as big as our detrempe. So our butter is going to be two thirds the size of our barrage. What we are going to do is we measure and we see that this is obviously too big. So we're going to roll our dough out to be big enough so that that butter cuts, covers two-thirds of it. Also, when we're working with our croissant dough or our detrempe, we want to make sure that our edges are nice and square all of the time. And that's about right. We'll go just a little bit longer, not too much longer. So we have our nice squared off detrempe, and we've got our nice rectangle barrage. And we're gonna just lay it over on top of our detrempe. On the upper half of our dough. Now, You also might want to use a small offset spatula because the goal is that we have as much of that dough covered as we can get without having the butter leak out on the edges. So now you see we have our butter covering two thirds of our dough and we have two and one third of it empty. We're going to take the empty side and we're going to bring it over and cover our butter. Then this is where our handy little paintbrush, which is all this is, is the paintbrush from my local hardware store. You can use a pastry brush, but that's where it comes in handy. And we're gonna brush all that excess flour off of our dough. Then we're gonna come to this side, and we're gonna fold this right over. And we're gonna pull our dough up so it's nice and squared off at our edges. And again, we're gonna brush off that excess flour. Now, I turn my dough this way. It's important to always roll the same direction every time. And we want to make sure that we have a nice floured work surface, not too much. Then take your rolling pin and we're going to create a seal all the way around the edges. You can see that butter that's in there and there's some butter that I've squished down in my seal. Then I make a cross just to allow the butter to distribute a little bit even more even and I work down my croissant dough to soften the butter up so it's easier to roll. Now we're going to roll our dough out to a size that is probably about 
12 inches by 18 or 20 inches, maybe a little bit bigger than that. This is a big batch because we do these quite frequently, so we make big batches at a time. You can see when we're rolling, or when you're rolling, that you want to keep those edges as square as you possibly can. And when you're rolling, we always roll from the middle out, and that helps keep the weight distributed evenly in your dough and keeps your dough thickness consistent throughout all of the edges. So we have our nice squared off edges here. We're going to come back with our pastry brush and brush off all the excess flour. Now we're going to do the same kind of turn that we did before. This particular turn that I use is called a letter fold. So we're going to take it one third of it and fold it up into the middle of the dough to cover about the next third of our dough. So that's two thirds of our dough, just like we did for our butter. You want to brush off that excess flour, it's very important. Then you come to this side and you fold it right over to create that letter fold. Brush off the excess. Square up your edges, and you have done your first turn on your croissant dough. Now, you're going to repeat this three more times. When we make croissants, we do four turns. So you'll let this sit in the refrigerator for an hour. What that does is allows the glutens to relax in the refrigerator. It makes your dough more pliable. You'll pull it back out. You'll roll your dough to that same size that we had before and you'll repeat your letter turn again. Do that four more times and you can go on and shape your croissants and you'll have a delicious breakfast the next day. This is Betsy Scrobot from Sweet Dolce, hoping you enjoyed our little video on how to do your first turn on croissant dough.